So here's the big question. How are entrepreneurs like us, who have been hustling and struggling to make it to success, who seem to make it one step forward, only to fall two steps back, who are dedicated, determined, and driven, how do we finally break through and win? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Brian Kelly, and this is the Mind Body Business Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. Woo wee! We're raising the bar again tonight because I don't just have one guest, I have two, and they are both phenomenal. And I cannot wait to share them with you here in just a moment. The Mind Body Business Show. This is a show that was put together by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs and business people. And that is 100% for you to be able to watch, listen, and take notes of these phenomenal guests who come on this show week in and week out and simply model, which means copy, model, do what they do. How did they achieve the level of success they are at? And I found in way too long of trying on my own to do it, that the simple, easy approach is to simply find somebody who is willing to mentor you and also to find those that you can just read about or you can learn from and take notes and just simply model them. They figured it out. There's no reason for you to go through all the trials and tribulations. And, you know, a little uh, secret, they probably got some help themselves along the way. And that's almost entirely true across the board. And so why should we be any different and try to reinvent the wheel? The Mind Body Business Show, what is that? The Mind Body Business Show is a show I put together because I began following and studying only successful people over a little more than a decade, the last decade or so. And what I found in studying these people, these are people that I've known personally. These are people that have authored books. Uh, that some I've met in person. These are from people who maybe have written a book that are no longer with us at all, but I've learned from them. And I started noticing these patterns, the similar patterns bubbling up to the top. And three of them kept appearing over and over and over. And you might be able to guess what those three are. They're on either side of me right now here on the video. It's mind, body, and business. Mind being mindset is what that stands for. And to a person, each and every very successful person I studied, they had a powerful and more importantly, flexible mindset. And then there's body. Body is literally about taking care of your physical body and also about what you do as far as ingesting nutrition. That's your physical body as well. It's inside and out. And so successful people always exercised on a regular basis. Didn't mean every single day and they weren't you know, bodybuilders, male bodybuilders or or female beauty queens or anything like that. They just did it on a regular basis to stay healthy and to stay fit. And then business. Business is multi, multi, multifaceted. And in order to create and then maintain and then grow a very successful business, one must be a master in various areas and skill sets, I like to call them. Skill sets like marketing, team building, systematizing, leadership. I, I could go on and on. The list is long. The good news is for each and every one of you that you personally do not need to master every single skill set that is necessary to create a thriving, successful business. Literally, you only need just one. And I spoke it just a moment ago. One skill set can help you to then boost your business all the way to the top. And I know my guests will know this answer. They're going to come on and tell me, Brian, we knew that answer. And that is the skill set of leadership. Leadership. Once you have mastered that skill set, then you can then so easily then give those tasks that require those mastery of skill sets off to those who have those already, who have mastered those skill sets. Because let's be honest, I don't think any one human on this planet can master every single skill set in their lifetime uh, that's necessary to uh, create and, and build a thriving business. So a lot of people tend not to concentrate much on leadership, especially when they're first starting out and they're doing it all themselves. Well, you'll probably hear that from our guest tonight as well, but it's a good idea to have it in mind from the get-go. Start learning leadership uh, skills immediately. Don't wait if you're in that stage. 
Speaking of leadership and, and phenomenal people and very successful people, what I learned also is that to a person, they are all phenomenal and voracious or voracious readers of books, books that impact them in ways of business and personal development. And with that, I like to segue into a little segment I affectionately call Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Born to read. Bookmarks. Ready. Steady. Read. Bookmarks. Brought to you by ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. There you see it. ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. Now, one thing I just want to point out here is get out a piece of paper and a pen, if you would. And instead of clicking away and typing in these, these incredible resources that you're going to hear more of when Jason and Naomi come on, is write it down and keep your gaze and your attention on them because I would hate for you to take your attention away. And at that moment, Jason or, Na or Naomi gives that one golden nugget that could have changed your life forever, but you didn't catch it because you were, your attention was taken elsewhere. Maybe you were looking at another resource. Write them down now. Visit them later. Sound good? Sounds good. The magic happens in the room. I teach this from stage all the time, back when we were able to teach from stage. All right, Reach Your Peak Library, that is a website I had developed, and I mean this sincerely, with you in mind. I did this because I was not a voracious reader until the age of 47 or so. I'm 56 now. And then I once I learned the value of reading not just any book, but the right books, and how they had an impact on my life, I said, my God, I got to share this. And so what I did was I put together only those books I've read that had impact on me in a, a positive way so that you could at least know that when you go to this site that it's vetted, all these books are vetted by at least one other successful individual. And that way, the odds of it having some kind of impact on you are greater than if you were just to throw a dart at a dartboard and it had book titles on it and you just randomly pick one. So that is there for you. I just wanted to give that gift to you. Click on any of those buttons that goes to Amazon. This is not what I would call a money-making website. That wasn't the reason for this. It is there for you. So go ahead, write that down and check it out later. And in the interim, guess what time it is? It's time to big, bring on our amazing guests, Jason Staniforth and Naomi Hyatt. Here they come. Get ready. It's time for the Guest Expert Spotlight. Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! There they are. I used to say the one, the only, but the two, the only. Today, <laughs> Stanford and Naomi Hyatt, all the way from jolly old England, UK. Is it England or just UK? It's either <laughs> England works, UK works. Let's no include idea. everyone. It's the UK. United there we go. Kingdom. <laughs> the, yes, fantastic. How are you both doing tonight? Oh, I, wait, sorry. How are you doing this morning? Yeah. yeah, so it's one o'clock. Well, it's 20 to 2 a.m. for us right now. <laughs> and you know what? I feel really fresh. I actually feel really good right now. I'm just like, ping. <laughs> See, that's a common trait of successful people right there is, you know, you're in a position where you know this is good for you and your business, your brand for both of you. And that's when you bring your A game because when this is over, both of you are probably going to crash really, really hard. <laughs> and, and it will be well deserved. I can't wait. <laughs> and right now, right now, you're bringing it. You're bringing it. I, and when we first came on, I could not, I would not have known it was that hour of the morning based on looking at both of you instead of, you know, oh God, it's 1 a.m. in the morning. It's oh, crazy. What are we doing? Why did we decide to get on this show? What are we thinking? But you guys weren't like that at all. You were like, ready to rock and roll and and I appreciate you both for for showing that kind of dedication because you're showing by example what it takes to become successful and continue you already are successful and now you're growing your business even farther uh, as every entrepreneur does uh, before we jump into the the big big fun we got some more fun but uh, I want to call out a couple of um, sponsors one is you see them right over naomi's head actually if you're watching on video it is the big insidersecrets.com there she is holding up the logo that thank you that was a good job <laughs> the big insidersecrets.com they have given us the ability to give away a five night vacation stay at a five star resort of your choice and you'll have choices to, to choose from in that 
and we give this away every single show. And so all I all you need to do is stay on to the end live. You have to be on the live show to stay on to the end, and I will show you exactly how to enter to win that. And guess what? There's going to be more. A little birdie told me that Jay and Naomi have something for you as well. So stick on to the end. And that doesn't mean run away and then think, oh, it's going to be about the end. Now I'm going to come back. Stay with us because Jay, no Jay and Naomi are going to give you so many golden nuggets. It's going to boggle your mind. It happens every single time. That's how I know. This is phenomenal. Uh, let's see. That's the one. And then next up on the housekeeping list, here we go. Hey, if you're struggling with putting a live show together and it's overwhelming and you want a lot of the processes done for you while still enabling you to put on a high quality show, very important to be high quality, and connect with great people like Jay and Naomi and grow your business all at the same time, then head on over to carpetbombmarketing.com. Carpet Bomb Marketing, saturate the marketplace with your message. And one of the key components that is contained in the Carpet Bomb Marketing courses, uh, one that you'll learn how to absolutely master is the very service we use to stream our live shows right here on the Mind Body Business Show. And over the past nine plus years now, we have tried many of these quote unquote TV studio solutions for live streaming. And I'll tell you, StreamYard is the best of the best. It combines supreme ease of use along with unmatched functionality. So you can start streaming high quality, professional looking live shows for free. Yes, I said for free with StreamYard. And write this down. Don't go running off and looking at it right now. Just write it down. This website, ryp.im forward slash stream live. All one word stream live. ryp.im forward slash stream live. Now that I'm out of wind, it's time to bring on our wonderful guest, co-guest. I don't even know what to call that. I know there's a co-host thing, but co-guest, is that even a word? I don't think so. <laughs> but you know, you got, you got the one that does all the real work. That's Naomi. And then you have Jay. He's just, you know, he's, he's there for the looks, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun. Sorry, Jay. I know he's like, God, oh, this guy just, <laughs> all right, let me bring you guys on uh, formally. So people had a, a good understanding of where you're coming from. And then we're going to go deeper. Uh, about what you do, your business, and how you achieve the level of success you have. Jay Staniforth and Naomi Hyatt are two multi-business entrepreneurs from the UK who are partners in business and partners in life. With a combined experience of over 15 years in marketing and over 1.5 million pounds, and for those of us that don't understand what that means, that's around 2 million in the US, in client sales attributed to their strategies in the last 18 months alone. Did everybody hear that? 2 million in 18 months. How, how many here would like to know how to do that? Well, you have to look no further because just stick with us for the rest of this show and you'll learn many of the key elements behind it. And then we'll open the opportunity for you to work with both Jay and Naomi. And if you're a fit and they'll, they'll help you determine if you're a fit. So don't, don't sweat that. They are co-founders of Expert Unleashed, a personal branding and strategic marketing business, which helps coaches and course creators to sell their services online by leveraging their unique brand. And I love this. This is right down the sweet spot alley of mine. I'm a course creator, I'm an entrepreneur, and I love what you guys are doing. You, is that okay if I say guys and there's two of you and one of you is a gal? <laughs> yeah. That's what I say. I love what you both are doing. <laughs> uh, in, in helping those, especially because we'll talk about this later, where those people are when you meet them in their you know walk with their business. I think what you do is unique and it, it's phenomenal. And I appreciate the fact that you guys are here and helping to share the fact that this kind of service actually exists out there for so many who need it. Oh my goodness, it's, it's phenomenal. So I want to ask the both of you and you can decide who goes first, uh, but, and I'm sure I'm not sure. It could be different for each of you. But what I love is, you know, to find out first the accolades. Like you guys have been very successful. You have made a lot of sales in a very short period of time, as we just stated. And that's great and phenomenal. And you help a lot of people. What I want to find out is what is going on on those beautiful brains of yours, both of them. Because in my estimation or my opinion, 
the mind is where everything begins. Your level of success or lack thereof, in my opinion, is all based on where is your mind? What is going on in that in that brain? And I'm always deeply curious about that. So for people like you, two highly successful individuals, when you get up every morning, like, well, and when you stay up into the wee hours of the morning, like right now, um, you know, every day is just perfect and nothing ever goes wrong, right? As an entrepreneur. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's what> like. <laughs> and so that's why there are so few entrepreneurs percentage wise versus employees, because it's it's not for the faint of heart. It's it's a it's a tough road for some. But for those that have the mindset set straight, it's really not as tough. And I wanted to find out what what makes you two tick, what motivates you both. When you get up in the morning, so you're starting your day, that part of the morning, and you know that all of this is in front of you. What is it that makes you motivated and driven to keep going out and serving more people and making a difference in the world? So whoever wants to go first. Well, arm wrestle, just to go home. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, both, we both do similar things, um, but we do have, they are slightly different. One thing we do do together, which is actually only once a week, is uh, something called the 5 a.m. club, which was created by a guy called D Ludlow. Uh, we've recently started doing that. And the idea is just a group of entrepreneurs, different ages, different experiences uh, from all over the world come together at 5 a.m. UK time. And well, there's a speaker e each week and they just share great content, value, and help people to understand their field of work at greater depth. And it's just so motiva uh, motivational uh, and how collaborative that is. And that, that's something we've started to do, which is really, wor is really working for us. We've really enjoyed that. And then we also do something called Miracle Morning, which is based in the book by Hal Elrod. So I'll let Naomi tell you what that involves. Yeah, so I mean, the, the Miracle Morning, and I'll, I'll be completely open and honest with this as well, like I don't always do it. <laughs> now, the simple reason being is that I, I've trial and tested a few different things in my morning routine. And believe me, when we first started the entrepreneurial business side of things, um, we fought about this. We were like, <laughs> no, you need to get up at 5 a.m. I was like, no, I don't. And we went back and forth on that for quite a while. And um, But the Miracle Morning is, uh, if you read the book, there is a book on this and it's you know it goes through all of the the psychology behind it the science and all this that and the other and it's really really good and um about two years ago one of our friends decided to create a zoom call in the morning at six o'clock um uk time in the morning till 6 30 and it consists of like you do a little stretch in the morning just to get your body moving and then you'll go into meditation for about five minutes sometimes a little bit longer mm -hmm. and then you'll go into writing your goals you do affirmations you know the ones that you read out loud so it resonates with you more and then you'll watch like a motivational video and then you do a dance at the end and <laughs> it sounds crazy it's half six in the morning you're there in your living room by yourself like <laughs> and um but it, it works and it, it does get you really really pumped up for the day um so it is it is really really it's 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 just one of them things that just kind of gets your juices flowing a little bit it's one of those mm -hmm. and um the go the goal setting thing as well is huge for both of us yeah and jay does it differently to me still so there's no right or wrong in terms of how you do this but for me myself um i i've tried and tested a few different things i'm a very simple person i i don't like all these long things you've got to do um and my goal setting was like that it was you know it was like reams of paper and and jay you were doing the same way yeah you? and we were just like this doesn't work for us um you've simplified yours a lot more and yeah. i've actually i got mine off amazon it's called the six minute diary and it's six minutes a day i mean how amazing is that that three, is amazing three minutes in the morning to write down your main actions what's your one outcome what's your main tasks for the day affirmations gratitude and then in the evenings you talk about your successes what's made today great gives you challenges and all sorts it just really gets you in the in the mindset of having a great day i think that's 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 the key thing mm. doing those goals in the morning because it's as soon as you do that your day just goes and it seems to happen the way you want it to weirdly enough <laughs> and and you don't have to get up at 5 a.m for that one do you i i don't get up at 5 a.m no <laughs> i'm a fan i'm a fan of that one <laughs> I would have been fighting with Jay too, just to, just to <laughs> like 5 a.m. My gosh, I don't have one eye open, let alone two by then. Um, and so since you guys are doing that, 
you guys can't crash after this show's over. You have to stay up because your 5 a.m. is coming up. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow. what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you can't let your followers down. Come on, man. So, <laughs> but here's the point, and I love the fact that you guys brought this up. And this, I've done your your number 141, I believe, episode. I do one a week on average, and uh, episodes of interviews. And what I've found is the most successful. Everyone that comes on the show is successful. The most successful all seem to have a routine. Mm. And every single routine I have thus uh, witnessed is different. The key is not what you do. It's that you do it. And I love the fact that you guys actually went through a series of refinements so that that tells everyone listening that, look, you most likely will not hit it out of the park on the first try. That's a baseball inference. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Not, not cricket or anything, um, but uh, you won't, you know, it won't be the perfect routine right out, right out of the shoot. The whole key is just start. And one thing you can do to make it easy on yourself is to model these two. Pick which one of those or three, I think there was three total in there, that mm -hmm. resonates best with you. I like the six-minute diary approach. I also mm -hmm. like the part where Naomi danced. Would you do that again? <laughs> Right on cue. I love it. Jay but takes I think Jay, Jay takes the mick out of my, my dancing. I just do press ups. I don't I don't know why, but when I dance, my shoulders go up when I start doing that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I bet it is so fun to work with you guys. Uh so I don't literally dance, but I like to go out literally into my backyard if it's warm enough, because I don't like to wear pants if I don't have to, uh, and go out barefoot. And I'm not talking I got something on, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Clap a <clear> <laughs> I got to save that one there. I got some shorts on. Even if the, if the neighbors are peering over, okay, I'm good. Um, but I like to get out in the grass and actually do jumping jacks, you know, to get the heart pumping and to get sunshine at the same time. If if it's a sunny day and it's warm enough, I'll definitely do that. If it's not that, I'll, I'll figure out something to do indoors. I have a X3 bar. I do workouts in here. I did one before the show. And that gets you going. And I think that's important, Naomi, that you brought that in there, that you're doing that part of what you guys do has a dance implement or what you you call them press ups. Yeah, press up. So just like that. Oh, so push up. We call them push ups. I'm like, what is a press up? <laughs> <laughs> I love I love this language barrier between Americans and British people. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. And and the spelling, you know, initialized that like the Z or something, or is that Australian? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what is up with that? To be fair, Jay says Z. -Z. I say Z, yeah. It's like, oh, A to Z. I'm like, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so fun. But that's the other key. Look look at how they interact with each other. It's, it's fun. It's playful. How they're interacting with me is fun and playful. You want to write that down. Fun and playful. Put that in your everyday life, into your work life. You know, do as much it takes to get the job done for your clients, for sure. Go above and beyond. But you can have fun doing it, can't you? Mm. Why not? If you're not having fun doing it, then let's just not do it. I mean, if you're not having fun, if you're not enjoying the ride, the journey of your business, and I'm talking to the general audience as I say this, then maybe you're going down the wrong path. A lot of people I know will pick up anything where they say, I can make a lot of money with this, Brian. You should join it. Like, so you want to do this just for the sake of making money for yourself. And that's it. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? And I don't say it that bluntly, but the answer would be yes. And well, I want no part of that. That's mm -hmm. just me. I'm not judging here. It's okay to make money for money, making money's sake. If that's what you're very passionate about and that's what you love doing, that's just not mine. Uh, so be sure that what you embark on is something you truly are, you know, and you hear this a lot, but I think it's true that you need to have some passion some deep passion about what you do, you know, and, and, and get a, get a wonderful partnership going on like Jay and Naomi have done, you know, they met as entrepreneurs. If I got that right from before we started this show, you know, they met and they, they took that relationship and now they're doing business together mm. and it's phenomenal. I love it. I love it. So if you don't have a like life partner to go with also being your business partner, at least have a business partner for accountability sake. If nothing else, you can hold each other accountable. That's very, very powerful as well. So you, you too, would you consider you uh, both? I see, I see a book hanging up on a shelf above Naomi's shoulder. Um, 
<laughs> you consider yourselves to be avid readers as well? And if so, what would be like a book that stands out to you that you haven't mentioned yet um, that that just stands out to you that really had an impact for you? You want to go? I'll allow you to go first. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, to be honest with you, um, I'm, I'm currently reading one at the moment that is, I love it, but it doesn't top my favorite um, so the book I'm reading at the moment is Never Split the Difference by Christopher Voss. And he is a former FBI agent and he was a negotiator. And the, the research that went into this negotiating method technique is insane. It's been like decades of years. It's just absolutely phenomenal. And the stuff is so simple. And I've been trying it out on Jay, and he doesn't, doesn't, <laughs> even, right. doesn't even notice I'm doing it. <laughs> and I'm it. like, "Did you did you notice that?" And he was like, "What?" And I said, "I just use a negotiating tactic ta ta tactic on you." <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, I didn't even notice." And I was like, "That's because I'm so good at it." <laughs> um, but no, it's it's the, the 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 techniques that it teaches you again are so simple, and it's like sales is a skill that everybody needs to have and you've yeah. got to develop that and get over any fears you have around it because i did have fears about sales i was scared i was like i can't sell and then i made my 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 sales and i was like oh i can sell <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah that that book for me has been well it is it's it's super interesting and i, I love it but the book for me that stands out the most and i i'm reading it again or listening to it read again um is can't hurt me by david goggins mm. and that is oh my goodness if you've if you've not read this book or heard of this guy please if there's one thing you do after this show is just go and have a look at that because it took he's a navy seal right yeah i always get that mm. mixed up yeah, so he's a well former Navy SEAL and the training he's gone through, you know, the hell week and all of that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the man ran on broken legs. You know, he is his mindset is so strong. Yeah. And this, I'm getting goosebumps thinking I'm talking about it. I'm like getting all like, excited. I love it. Um, but his story is just absolutely incredible. And the 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 principles you can take from that book and apply it into your own life we we, we always go what would david goggins do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would david do <laughs> it is could, that good i could see the bracelets on people's arms now what would david do yeah. um, <laughs> but, but also um if you're going to listen if you're going to read it listen to it because he is interviewed at the end of each chapter so uh. you insight afterwards as well so it's yeah. definitely worth listening to that's on audible yes oh you're speaking my language i love it <laughs> and when you said navy seal my ears perked up have you heard of another book called living with a seal i've not no i yeah. think i might have who's the author jesse itzler i've heard of that i've never read it myself but i'm, I'm sure i've heard it, of it's that you had you said similar things that so he it's a long story but he basically hired a navy seal to live with him to uh just train him on basic discipline and thing and got him up early ran his butt off his he was bleeding everywhere just from getting up and running and doing everything he was told to do and and the seal said you hired me to do this you're gonna do it and he was a very large man <laughs> and is a phenomenal book and jesse isler is the husband of and i a name escapes me, but she's the one who founded Spanx. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. And so it's power couple. And this guy is amazing. And then later he did Living with um, the Monks. And I read both of them. They're, they're both phenomenal. So Jesse Itzler as well. That's on uh, reachabeaklibrary.com for those of you that took those notes down already. Be sure to go check that out. Uh, and be sure to also check out everything Naomi just said. So David Goggins, Goggins, how do you spell it? Goggins, G O double G I N S. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm in a spelling bee. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> and never split. Never split the difference. Sounds very familiar. So, what did he recant? Recount some of those times where he's negotiating with like criminals that are held up in buildings and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar. That would be very powerful too, because that's what sales comes down to: is the power of you know how good are you in negotiating. And how good are you at making it a win-win situation? And that's yeah. one thing that so many entrepreneurs uh, leave on the table is like, uh, 
how do I, you know, they just want to win for themselves. In the mm -hmm. beginning, when you're first starting out, let me, let me ask you guys if this was true of you, because it was of me. When I was first starting out, I was more of a, I had more of a scarcity mentality because I needed the money, you know, so that the focus was more on money. Then as success kept getting bigger and bigger, I'm focusing more on my clients and getting them what they came for, you know, and then over and over the top doing it for them. But in the beginning, I would go more for things that I wouldn't ever consider today as far as like, I want to get a quick kill. I need a sale. I need to, I need to pay the bills this month. Is that, did you guys happen to go through anything like that um, separately or co collectively? Collectively, we went through that um, yeah. on, a, on a big level. Yeah. When we first started this business, we had a, a big situation with that where we ended up, we, we were taking on agency clients effectively, and we didn't really want to take those clients on, but they had money, they were coming, we just bought a house, we just left our jobs to set this business up so it's like we need to get clients and we actually took on a hundred and three thousand pounds worth of contract revenue in our first 90 days of setting up and i just remember sitting there one night with naomi late at night not not this late but but late at night we were doing work that was out of scope wasn't paid for to a deadline that was never set and i just remember sitting there we we're moaning at each other and to each other and we just it, we came to the conclusion, I don't know how exactly how we got there, but we came to the conclusion of what the hell are we doing? <laughs> like we've created a job that we hate in a business that we own. Like what is going on? So we actually ended up within a couple of weeks, we finished that, that deadline, but within a couple of weeks, we sacked all of those clients and we went back down to 1500 pounds, which is roughly $2,000, 1500 pound a month. That, that was all the client we, we retained. And then we grew from there, but obviously focusing more on the right type of person. Yeah. So yeah, we have experienced that <laughs> big time. You, you bring up a good, a good point or concept, and that is, you know, as you're going through your business, and this is for everybody, uh, that it's just as important to know who is the right person to work with as it is to know who is the wrong person. And yeah. we were talking about this right before the show um, that, you know, you guys will not work with just anybody. Is that correct? No, yeah, well, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. We, and we got everybody. I applaud you for that because the sooner everyone realizes that that is how you do business the right way, then the mm -hmm. faster you will get past all the mistakes because a bad client can be what I was referring to earlier with you guys off the air, like a cancer to your business. Mm -hmm. because they can just pull you down with all their issues and their wants and needs. And if you don't, if you didn't know this ahead of time, before you brought them on as a client, you're going to learn really quick that that's going to be the question you ask your next potential client mm -hmm. uh, or questions about how they feel about certain things. And you come up with this in great laundry list of ways you can interview them, have them interview you, make yeah. it sure it's a mutual fit. If it's not a fit, you just explain why or or not and just say sorry we're not a fit i don't have time to you know you just do it professionally and let it go and move on to the next because oh my gosh the money isn't worth it i don't care how much you're charging it ain't worth it exactly and you know what this is actually um one of the things that we we teach because as, as you know we're branding and marketing we we teach people with how to build their brand and part of that is their dream client and in that particular section is who do you not want to work with Mm. you don't know if you have no like no list nothing about who you don't want to work with and you're not clear on that then you don't know who you don't want to work with and then it ends up you end up going well i just don't like them or well they just didn't they just didn't say the right thing and it's like well that's not that's not real you know they might not have said the right thing because they need your help <laughs> with something but if you if you know you know what values you you don't want in a person it's easy to pick out those people and you instantly know how obviously you get the questions to ask them certain things to lead you down the path to see what they say so you know these mm. are not the right fit for me otherwise you're just asking questions for the sake of it <laughs> and have you found that in those questions that the you're eliciting an answer that falls in the realm of their mindset yeah there's a, there's a lot of most of it does come down to that and how they approach work and how they approach implementation and how they approach everything else pretty much 
because mm. obviously we don't want to work with people that are, are not action takers. There you, know? you go. You know what I mean? Yes, um, I do. Oh, <laughs> I love it. And then don't forget that when you're done with the interview to tell them to get up and give you a quick dance to make sure that they meet your <laughs> criteria, you know, make sure they do it the right way. I don't know how you did that, but that was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> And it's so it's so important, though, uh, I use a very um, comprehensive way of filtering uh, people that come on to help me with my business. They're apprentices and they don't get paid a dime. I pay for a service to match me with apprentices and they only work with me for a very short period of time. It's done. It's done by design. But before I bring them on, I'm still spending my time on top of that uh, teaching and training and mentoring. And so I, I take them through a series of, uh, gosh, I forget how many, 10 videos, almost equaling an hour in total. They have to watch every one of them, click a button to say, yes, I watched it, move to the next. So it's like this accountability, their own little um, contract with themselves, if you will, as they're, as they're clicking yes. And at the very end, I learned this from a past guest expert. So here's another hint for everyone is if you don't have a podcast or a live show, I highly recommend you do it because this is, oh, I can't tell you the amazing things that happens as, as a result. But I have them submit a video to me explaining why they deserve to be the next Reach Your Peak Apprentice. I learned that from one guest on my show. That was the one piece. When I added that, I'll tell you something. I have not had one dud since. <laughs> and think about that. Could you do that with clients? Why do you feel you deserve to work with us? I mean, wow, who asked that? Hmm. Right? That puts you guys in such a power stance if, if you're able to do something like that. I mean, you guys in general, all watching and listening. I and mean, these guys know what to do. They're doing it right. They're uh, crushing it. So model what they're doing. Do you guys have a, a course of your own by chance? We, we actually do. We, we've, we're about to launch it on Monday. We launch it on Monday, in fact. So, yeah, we do have a course. What I'd like to do is, uh, if you wouldn't mind, is come back and comment on where and how uh people can find it so we can all help promote yeah, awesome. yeah. happy to of course yeah sure and, and for me reach out to me personally uh if you wouldn't mind like email me and say hey here's the link that you asked for on the show or whatever it is whatever the steps are just let me know i love to help people um in any i don't care i don't care if you guys were richard branson you know <laughs> i would help because everyone can use help in certain areas it's just so yeah. why not What's it going to cost? It's going to cost a few keystrokes and then hit it on Facebook and Instagram and wherever you want to put it. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but the good thing is you're giving back. And I just, I just, I'm a believer in that. And um, I know you guys are too. You guys are phenomenal. So we go way back, you know, like what about an hour ago we've been yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're like this as Jay drinks his vodka and so does Naomi, man. I promise you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> I got mine, but I just, I'm just better at hiding what's in it. You know, it says smart water, but is it? Um, <laughs> so you guys look pretty daggone fit physically. Uh, what would you say as the level of importance to you? How important is it to each of you, either separately or, or collectively, to stay fit uh, physically? And you know what? Even mentally. Uh, so who wants to go first on that? Yeah, I'll, I'll jump in with that. So more so than ever now with the lockdown that we've had, just you don't realize just how well some people do, but it's it's hard to quantify just how valuable fitness and health is because prior to lockdown and, and the, the UK is still in lockdown, we're coming out of it over the next few months. We, we, come on. <laughs> we, were going to the, we were going to the gym five, six times a week every morning as soon as we did our miracle morning finished at half six we'd walk our dog uh, and go to the gym and throughout the day I'd, I'd still have loads of energy even though I'd, I'd been up early I'd done a workout worked out really hard I, I was still energetic I was still going bed at 11 but full on all day whereas now I'm getting up and doing the early thing doing my morning meditation doing my miracle morning and then i'm doing some press-ups and some sit-ups and some squats and i'm taking my dog for a walk twice a day but no way near the amount of working out or training that i was doing before but i find myself getting tired you know we sometimes at night we like to sit down and just chill and turn off 
and we'll put a series on. So we'll watch an episode of a series. We love a good Netflix series. We do love a good Netflix series. <laughs> so, and, it, and it's good to have that downtime. But yes. I find myself, I'm there sitting going, and then get the elbow, Jay, wake up. I'm like, no, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. And um, yeah, and I just, I just found that I'm more tired now, not working out properly than I was mm. when I was working out properly. And I, I think generally your physical health is a good representation of your mental health. And I think both yeah. of them really complement or affect or infect, whichever way you want to look at it, each other. So I, th I think if you've got a bad mindset with things, then likelihood is you're probably not exercising properly you, you, or, or at all. You're not getting the endorphins running. You, you're not you know, building yourself up and putting your best self forward. And the same with your fitness. If you're feeling, if you're not in a good shape or you don't feel good about the shape that you're in and you're not healthy, you don't have, you don't have to be ripped up. But if you're not healthy, I think that can have a negative impact on your mindset, you know, maybe even your relationship, your energy, the way that you pr present yourself day to day, the way that you show up. And I think yeah. that can really impact and, and, and affect that. So, yeah, fitness, health, super important to both of us. And I think also on that, there's um, there's a, a book that we've read before as well called The Compound Effect. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm sure most people will know that book if you've not, again, another recommended read. Um, where he, in the book they talk about three guys and take the examples of exercise and they mm. don't do anything drastic but one of them starts walking every single day and then you know increases it over time but the other two um one of them just stays the same doesn't do anything else mm. and uh one of them actually starts getting into food more so one of them is putting weight on uh one of them staying the same and the one that's doing the exercise every single day he's decided that he wants to start listening to podcasts on his on his walks so that he's now developing himself personally and mindset and whatever he wants to learn about and not only is the is the weight dropping off i think he only lost like it wasn't that much over a period of 18 months but just doing them small incremental things every single day it affected his knowledge it affected his relationship his relationship boomed it affected his job he got promoted you know and all these different types of things whereas the other two one of them stayed the same he just stayed the same he didn't develop and grow and that to me i mean going backwards is even worse but to me not growing is 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 just unthinkable but mm. the, the other guy who went backwards and put weight on his relationship with his wife was suffering you know she was considering leaving he mm. was really unhappy depressed he was not obviously not healthy at all his job was suffering it was just you know so exercise in that respect you don't have to do loads you just you know you don't And as a woman there's so much pressure on how you look you know and and you've got to look a certain way in this that, and the other you really don't you've just got to stay healthy and that that's the key thing here you you don't need to have a six pack you don't need to everybody wants one <laughs> whether you can get one or not it's a different is a different story but it's it's just doing the the things every day that keep you consistent and keep you healthy and it's super important and when that's taken away it really affects you massively yeah and you know i have a six pack it just happens to be covered by a kegger it's all right <laughs> And that was some great stuff. Uh, I was writing notes. I'm a former uh, certified personal trainer, and everything you said is spot on. I used, I would always say that the mind and body are a team. Mm. And more importantly, the mind and body are your team. And if you have any team where a member of the team is not operating at a peak level of performance, then the team as a whole suffers, doesn't it? Mm. You know, much yeah. like a tripod. That's why I use the mind body business. There's three. You take one leg away. What happens to that tripod? If you kick it away, the whole thing comes tumbling down. You need to be as as good as you can be. You don't need to be perfect. And, and that's what I, I want to be cautious of telling everybody is you don't have to be perfect in any one of these. Just be cognitive and know what you're doing and always strive for the best. Just yeah. be the best you. You, yeah. you won't be perfect. Guarantee it. <laughs> um, yeah. What was it? Oh, so the other thing about how women look, I, I really yeah. want women especially to hear this and men too is one of the key elements i found in doing certified personal training was that if you concentrate more on how you feel mm -hmm. than how you look you will end up looking magnificent mm -hmm. 
It and happens you know every what? time. That is so true. We've been on a diet and stuff recently, haven't we? I say diet, we've we've changed up what we eat. The way we say, when we say the word diet, we don't mean Atkins and, you know, not eating. It's physical diet. <laughs> and um, we, we've been testing and trialing a lot of different things. Um, and where we're at right now, we're getting there. You know, we, we had a lot of junk food before and we noticed the difference when we stopped. Mm. And for me and, and for you, I think we, we woke up in the morning after a takeaway. We felt like we were hungover. Yeah. And then you, you feel really oh, all day and then it carry on in the week and you still feel sluggish. And now it's, you know, we're having really healthy foods. The occasional naughty food is okay as long as you're not doing it all the time. But um, and it's and massive. The, helped, isn't it? Yeah. And the vodka on live shows. That's good. The, vo the vodka in the morning at 2 a.m. I mess. mean, you can't, you can't beat it. I can't Breakfast of champions. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it, it is it is so true. And like you said, yeah. I think it's more for a woman than feeling good, you know, for, for obvious reasons and also for themselves there's um it is massively important and it's hard to do because i i eat a lot um of of bad stuff <laughs> i love cheese um found out i'm intolerant to cheese so i can't <laughs> have cow goat or sheep milk wow. win um so that's cheese out the window for the rest of my life <laughs> so um but yeah it's do you know what it's helped i don't even miss it and it, it's that happens exactly so after you start after you clean up your your diet what you're eating what you're drinking you'll notice that you don't miss it and mm -hmm. you won't be looking in those places where you used to keep those snacks at all anymore i know we have a spot with all our you know chips and stuff and anything sweet and i just would i wasn't even interested i, I didn't know it was like it wasn't even in my head that it was there anymore uh and when you get that habit of healthy eating it just it's it kind of like compounds itself in a in naturally it's not like it hurts it's not hard to do in the beginning it's a it's an adjustment i won't lie yeah. <laughs> to anybody out there like in the beginning i'm sure naomi that you were craving cheese and dead gun and i want that next slice and then after you've done the healthy eating approach for a while and you didn't have cheese in your life you're like eh, i don't need it yeah yeah it happened quite quickly for me to be honest hmm. i realized i hadn't had it for about a week and i was like oh i don't miss it <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's always a great sign that you know it's probably not something that you were meant to ingest anyway so that's good yeah yeah, yeah. so cool i want to find out more about your guys's business um and how you operate what who your um ideal clients are um you know what is their where are they in their business oh here we have andy larusso how you doing andy mind and body work as one that is the essence of yoga and a great way to start one. oh yeah yoga oh my gosh i have never sweat so much doing so little in my entire life <laughs> i mean you're just striking poses is what it looked like to me and then, I, and then i look down and i see this puddle of sweat water I'm like, what, where'd that come from like yeah. it's it's awesome i love it but yeah um andy i'm gonna blame this on you i, I got sidetracked what was i saying just a second ago jay and Naomi. Find out about the business, dream client. Yeah, yeah. the most important part. So <laughs> <laughs> who are the people that you cater to? Where are they in their business? Is it one person? Is it a whole company? Uh, you kind of touched on a little earlier, but uh, let's drill down a little bit deeper. And who who's a good fit for you guys and who do you help the most? So we really, we, are, we are obviously can help a range of people, but we do like to call work with what we call our dream clients. So this is a person that we specifically target. So these are coaches and course creators, effectively people that have a level of skill or an expertise in a specific area. And they want to use that skill or that knowledge that they've got to help other people, either through coaching, training, or providing a course material that helps other people to progress. So a lot of what we do is helping people in personal development um where they are the face of the business and they want to become a figurehead or an authority in that niche so these are kind of people that are starting out would you say usually early business so either just starting or within probably their first three to five years okay of business. yeah yeah and those are those are tough times uh always in the, the 
many things. Oh my gosh, so many things bubble up on that is how do you get leads? How do you build the confidence so you can make sales on those leads? Because if you don't have any clients in your hip pocket that you've already served, your confidence isn't there yet. And it just, it's, it's like, my God, getting started is the hardest part of the whole journey. And then when you, you get started and you start getting clients, well, then it starts growing uh, mm -hmm. much more rapid. And is that what you guys are finding as well? Yeah, I mean, yeah. we actually, um, over the past couple of years since we've been doing it ourselves, um, we went through this period ourselves. We're like, how do we get leads? How do we do this, that, and the other? And we're good at marketing. We know what we're doing. We obviously, you know, our, our achievements speak for themselves. But um, we were like, something's missing. Something's just not working for us. What's happening? And then we discovered the dream client. And it was like, bam, that was it. That was the missing piece for us. So then over the past couple of years, we've obviously honed all this in and we've figured out the steps it takes to go from A to Z pretty much in terms of starting and growing your business. Um, and we also go to the point of scaling as well, but you've got to take it in steps. People, and you have a good example of this and I'm going to not do it justice, but I always get it wrong. So, you know, people, people, um, is it they start at point B and they want to, B at Z, but they need to go back to A. Do you remember that? Remember that analogy that you did? Oh my God. I'm going to put you on the spot right yeah, now. Do you remember um, that? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, 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 we say that most people will start one one step ahead. They, they start at where most people or, or most businesses should be within the first year, but they start there. They miss the foundational stuff out. So they miss yeah. building out that brand, the brand foundations, really understanding their message, their dream client, their, the, the signature offering that they've got, those core the fundamental parts of your brand which effectively should be used to at least influence yeah. 90 95 percent of the rest of your business even to the way that you hire and recruit because if you're hiring and you've not identified what your company values are how do you know what to look for in a person and if that stuff doesn't align you're just setting yourself up to fail yeah and that's what we've we've been refining and obviously you know the, the course reflects that those steps takes you down that that path and it happens every call without fail and this is no joke every single call i'm not making sales i want to get leads blah, blah blah okay cool what have you been doing to do that go for the process okay great so who's your dream client um men aged 30 to 90 that live in america i want to target <laughs> i want to okay cool so is it just men and women or is it you know oh yeah it's men and women you know like you've just said and you just and it is it's obvious you know to us we're just like flash your problem you don't know who you're talking to that's the difference isn't it? there's a difference between your target audience and your dream client and your dream client yeah. target audience is 35 to 45 year old men that live the in advertising in america audience. yeah yeah <laughs> What you can find on facebook <laughs> yeah yeah and your dream client is this person here everything about jay that's my dream client for example and one thing people get stuck on when they're when they're going through that process that exercise of you know the 35 to 45 like well but i don't want to turn away a 46 year old it's like no that's not the point you're get, you're targeting your messaging you're writing you're advertising you're crafting your messages toward 35 to 45 if someone 48 comes along you're not going to turn them away that's not what this is about that you will get others it's just about how you target your messaging and once yeah. that went through my thick skull i'm like oh okay i get it now yeah. and uh, i love that you guys provide this service it where were you when i was starting out that's what i want to know because <laughs> the things you are solving are those like i was saying in the beginning is the hardest are the hardest to overcome they take the most time and when you have someone that's got a proven system, a proven process, an approach to get you past these hurdles, then you can shine, you know, get quicker to the sale to get you to the growth pattern to serve more people, which is why you were put here is to serve more people. And so that Jay and Naomi, I hope they earn wheelbarrows and bucket loads full of cash and, and never ending. Why would I want that for them? Because I know that what they'll do with that is serve more people. They'll scale their business and and help more people. Every person I have interviewed on this show is the same way, that they want to serve and help people. And is it important for them to make money? Yes. I'm not going to hide behind that. Of course it's important. One of the reasons it's important, it's not so Jay can have his new Lamborghini that he probably has sitting in his garage right now. And <laughs> Naomi, her Rolls Royce, that's right next to that. But it's for them to also have the ability to reach and serve more people.
Yeah. And whatever you enjoy in your life, you know what? Treat yourself. It's okay. You earned it. Yeah. But also, if your heart's in the right spot and you're a servant and you're there to help people, you're going to have way more success than you would ever have if you're just in it for the money, in my humble opinion. Mm. Uh, definitely definitely you focus on contribution and, and and giving value first we found that the money just follows i'm glad you brought that up because i was as i told you before the show stalking you too i was actually just researching <laughs> i will tell you something these two have a phenomenal youtube channel and they give everything away you don't have to pay a dime for anything they do but you should so <laughs> You will get I, I just their intro video. If you go to their YouTube channel and is it is it called Expert Unleashed? Do they just search for that? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So Expert Unleashed, uh, two words. Go to YouTube, find them, subscribe to their channel, and watch that intro. You know the main video that shows up on their channel at the top. Just watch that, and you'll get what makes these two tick. They gave so much value. I was telling them before the show that I could literally take what you just said and put it in action and make it happen, and you didn't ask for money. And that's how these two are built. They're built to give you value, to help you along the way. I'll guarantee you they know how to go much deeper than what is on the YouTube videos that will get you to the end game much faster. So be ready and prepared to invest in their services. And you will not regret a single uh, penny or pound <laughs> of that. <laughs> Ooh, and, and Zed, what the heck is Zed? That just reminded me of something. You said <laughs> Zed somewhere. Ada Zed. <laughs> Zed? <laughs> I know it's it's Z for all of us uh, English blokes over here. Um, <laughs> a to Z. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Do you guys also cater to those people that don't know how to say Z, like those of us on the, <laughs> on the English side on the United States and Canada? No, we won't deal with it. <laughs> no. But yeah, we do. We've uh, we've got clients in Dubai, uh, throughout Europe, um, Germany, Sweden, a, a few places. We've yeah. Nice. We've, Everything we do is yeah. online, so yeah, yeah it's um, international. Do you find it harder to translate American English than all of those? Do you know what the word, I will be honest with this, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but the word that, that grates on me is niche. Oh, it, niche. It, yeah, it, niche. It's, it's niche. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, we, there was actually a video about this quite a while ago. It was funny. <laughs> um, Americans are the only ones in the world that say niche. <laughs> It's like, ah, oh. so yeah, everybody else says niche, but it, I, you know, it does it doesn't bother? I don't know. Niche rhymes with rich. Come on, you know. I know it does make sense, though, right? Would and you I'm rather be? Like, would you rather the niches? And I was like, oh. if you work out your niche, you'll end up being rich. So. Rich, I know. Yeah. It kind of makes sense in that way, but yeah, I just find it. I just yeah, there's, I like I said to you before, like the English, the translation that the, the between American and English words. I, I love it. I love it so much. I could spend hours doing it. It's hilarious. Yeah. And I've heard it both ways here in the States, niche and niche. And it's like oh, tomato, God. tomato and all that good stuff. It's like, you know, as long as I know what it means, I'm good with it. You can say it yeah. however you want. Yeah. You, can say, you can say Z all day, even though it's wrong. You can say it and I'll know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I, I I often talk with some folks from Australia and they say Z as well. And I, so I understand it immediately, but that's Z for everyone watching that still doesn't know what that means. I, I know you're not looking it up because you're watching live. <laughs> and speaking of that, my God, we're at the end already. I've got to put up your website. That's going to be phenomenal. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind, how can people get in touch with you? And by the way, I haven't forgotten. We have two gifts to give away. So stay on. Um, what's the best way for folks to get in touch with you? Is this one way expert unleashed? Yeah, so you can go to our website, expertunleashed.com. Um, you've already spoken about our YouTube channel, which is Expert Unleashed. You can get us on Facebook. So we have a page, Expert Unleashed, and we also have a group, a free group, where we give free trainings every week, um, which is, again, called Expert Unleashed. And then it's got a bit of a tail to the, the group name, but it will show up. Or you can email us. So hello at expertunleashed.com. Fantastic. So... Literally, they could go to expertunleashed.com, scroll the bottom, and they have every way to connect with you. There's Facebook, there's LinkedIn, there's YouTube, and there's contact at the very bottom. So it's all there. And, yep, it's not covered up by the banner. Good. <laughs> so expertunleashed.com. Uh, and, oh, man, this is going to be fun. Uh, before we announce the prizes here, just a moment, uh, there is one final question I ask of every of my guests that come on. 
and it's phenomenal. It's powerful. It's profound. And it's uh, even somewhat personal. Now that you guys are going, what the heck is he talking about? This guy's the nerves are coming. Oh, I'm to sweat a little bit. Like, oh, <laughs> Good Lord, it's 4.30 in the morning, Brian, or 3.30. What is it? 2.30. Like 3.30. Oh, perfect. So you, you still got an hour and a half before your 5 o'clock thing, so that's good. <laughs> good. So you're okay if we go another hour then, right? Because that'll yeah, be a half hour. Got my vodka. Oh, I'm nearly out, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the bartender? Where's the bartender? <laughs> Let me see. Can I uh, <laughs> pour it over there for you? Um, yeah, so there, it's a phenomenal question. Yeah, this is interesting because there's two of you. I'll just let whoever wants to start, start. And if the other one has a differing opinion, then put that in. Does that sound cool? Yeah, go for it. When that question comes up, because it's not coming up right now. No, no, no. We got to gotta let you stew on that a little bit. <laughs> So we have two prize giveaways. I'm glad we have folks watching. Uh, the first prize is going to be from Jay and Naomi directly. And I'm going to bring your website up again. And if you wouldn't mind, just explain what it is real quick. And then we'll tell everybody what they have to do to enter. It's really simple. So here we go. Go ahead. Whoever wants to take over. So, yeah, what we're going to be giving away is a 30-minute intensive goal-setting coaching session so we really dig deep into your business the way it is right now identify some of the things that are holding you back that might not be obvious and we'll help you to uncover the next step at least the next step that you should be taking to move your business forward in whatever way that looks like and in terms of actually reaching out to us and entering that if you send us an email hello at expertunleashed.com and just write in the subject in the subject title win and then submit your entries and we'll pick somebody at random okay win w-i-n correct yes. so info i'm going to type one-handed here and try to do it quick at expert um no, hello, hello hello at oh gosh i can't i can be trained hello <laughs> at expert It's singular unleashed, right? Yeah. And I'm just going to put this in the comment section. So those that come in even, well, that, that way you'll get more people to email you. That's good. Expertunleashed.com. All right. That's out there. Fantastic. Thank you for that. And what was that valued at? A 30 minute intensive coaching call. So people understand that this isn't just, you know, I'm going to take up Jay and Naomi's time. So it's valued at 200 pounds. So around 270 ish dollars, something like that. There you go, almost $300, so it's well worth it. Uh, and so I always like to say this when you guys, you know, you guys being entrepreneurs give away such phenomenal value, high value things like this is be respectful that when you uh, go to ask for their time, they're giving this time freely of their own will uh, and be respectful. They are professionals. And so show up yourself as a professional and you know see what you can do together maybe there's something they could use help with uh they're offering you something for nothing and it's their time i know it's your time as well it's the most valuable thing we have on this earth you can't get it back once you spend it so yeah. just i just implore of people to be professional in and but also at the same time do it <laughs> email them it was <laughs> and i just lost what i wrote i already forgot what it was what did i say what was the email Should address hello <laughs> at expertunleashed.com there we One go i'm from the top hello <laughs> at expertunleashed.com <laughs> said it wrong then it's because and you weren't doing the dance properly at that moment that's what it is hello <laughs> at expertunleashed.com <laughs> there we go the tv had right there <laughs> we got a whole earthquake going on this is awesome no sorry <laughs> that's good that's good i love it high energy all right, and one other giveaway, and then we're going to come back to the, the big question. You don't want to miss it, but um, for those that are still here with us live, you now have the uh, our express permission, uh, Jay, even, even Jay will say it's okay, that you can now take out your smartphone and pull out your messaging app and just watch the screen. I'll, t I'll uh, tell you audibly as well. And where you would actually type in the name of the person you're going to message, instead type in this number, 
It's 314-665-1767. And again, this is for the five-night vacation stay at a five-star luxury resort by the BigInsiderSecrets.com. And so type that number in where you would put the, the person's name and then where you would type the message, you know, where you put emojis, things like that. No emojis, just two words separated by a hyphen or a dash. And that's peak, P-E-A-K, dash, vacation. Peak, dash, vacation. Hit send and then... Keep an eye out because you will get an automated response asking for your email address. And once that is received by our system, again, it's all automated, then you will be officially and formally uh, entered to win. And we will choose a random winner before the night is over. And thank you to the Big Insider Secrets for making that available to us every single show. This is amazing. And it's not. Look at this. It's not one of those where you show up and they say, Come with me, please. And they lock you into a door and pitch you a timeshare for five hours. It doesn't <laughs> happen that way. And, and I know that because the owner of the Big Insider Secrets has tested this himself three times. And every single time he said he was floored, it was just amazing. You get a vacation stay, <laughs> not a timeshare stay. All right. Are you two ready for this? Are you, are you yeah. sure? I yeah, think so. let's do it. <laughs> so, okay, to put it in perspective a little bit better, make you feel better is there is no such thing as a wrong answer. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's exact opposite that's true. The only correct answer is yours. And it may be yours, Jay, which Naomi may say, yep, that's it for me too. Or it may be yours, Jay, and yours, Naomi. They could be completely different. And they usually are. So are you guys ready? Yeah. See, you guys have it made easy because there's two of you. You know, you can look at each other and then start elbowing each other to say who goes first. Uh, when it's just one person, it's just one person. So uh, before I ask the question, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who commits to go first? I'll commit to going first. Ooh. <laughs> Don't make it hard to get up. <laughs> it's like that moment when you get asked to go up on stage. Who wants to go up on stage? I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> You guys are awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to say both your names when I do this and just, this is phenomenal. I can't wait to do this. All right. Jay is up first. No pressure. All right, here we go. Jay Staniforth and Naomi Hyatt. How do you define success? Oh, very good. Very good. So I would define success as being being able to show up and contribute to the world and make a difference, utilizing your own abilities in the best way that you can, persistently and consistently. That's what I would say. Naomi, over to you. No, no wow. pressure. I, I agree. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cop out. <laughs> To, to be honest with you, um, I do actually agree with what Jay. I keep knocking the table. Sorry, I do agree with what with what Jay said. And um, the the thing I struggled with and I, with with success was that don't let other people's successes bring you down because everybody sees success in different ways. So you know what your success is. I I, I can't I can't tell anybody what their what their success is. Only you know. And you will know that by doing the goal setting, by making sure that you, you're on the right path. So success really is down to the individual. There's there's no there's no real definition for it as such, because you could you could see success with, let's just say, two thousand pounds a month. And you're happy with that. You've got your, you've got your clients. You've got a really nice business going for you. It doesn't take much effort. That to you could be success. But to somebody else, 10 million a month could be their success and they're really really high achievers and that's what they want to achieve but you get there with persistent consistency and that is that is literally the secret that's to the secret source there's no secret to it it's consistency you've got to be consistent in everything that you do and if you are you know if you have problems and again our coaching clients will vouch for this if you've got problems and you're not doing things consistently that's why I'm mm. not getting in leads. Well, you know how to do it. Why are you not doing it? You're not doing it consistently enough, you know, and it, it, it falls into lots of different areas of your life. So it's really hard to define what success is. And for me, it's everyone sees success in different ways, but persistent consistency 
yeah, persistent <laughs> consistency is the way to get there. Mm. Pure gold on both parties. Good job on that. And again, it's you know, good job. I'm not praising you. You stepped up and you just did it. Uh, way to go, Jay, for stepping up, manning up, as I like to say. And uh, Naomi, you know, you, you actually brought up some really good points, too, that, you know, I love the fact that you said don't let other success affect, you know, the way you're thinking about your own. Because yeah. how many how many of us compare ourselves to other people? <laughs> I think everybody on the planet, right? The thing is, is where you are today, you have you have achieved success. I don't care where you're at. I don't think, you know, if you can't rub two nickels together, that's an old timer saying, isn't it? Uh, if you can't, if you don't have very much money in your account, you still have achieved a level of success, haven't you? It's very, very subjective, as Naomi was pointing out, that it means different things to different people. And it'll mean something different to both of you, say, six months to a year from now. Mm. Yeah. That definition will change drastically. That's what I love about this question. <laughs> and no two people or two or two at a time either, either uh, ever answer the same. The, they've never answered it the same exact way. Each of you had did have different answers. And none of them, neither of those were the same as any of my past guests. Can you believe that? It's that unique. And so with your permission, later on, I will be compiling a book. And I've already got the dot com, so don't anybody try to get it. It's uh, <laughs> how do you define success.com. And it's going to be a compilation of all my guests and what their definition of success was. If you guys are cool with that, I'll reach back out to you and get your permission. I don't know if you want more exposure or anything like that. Um, I don't know if that's something you guys want. We want I'm kidding. <laughs> give, it, give us a full full front page spread. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just the, just the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is success. <laughs> <laughs> and and just your section will be in color in the book. The rest yeah. of them will be black and white. <laughs> oh, Jay and Naomi, you've been such a breath of fresh air. And I know it's really early in the morning there. And I know you're dying to get some sleep, even though you still have to get back up real quick for your five o'clock. But uh, I just wanted to say I truly, truly, in all seriousness, I appreciate you both. Um, and this is this is the epitome this is everything you need to know about what it takes to become successful. And I'm pointing at both Jay and Naomi as I say that for those of you just listening on, on the audio podcast. These two get it. Not only do they get it, they help you to get it as well. And my gosh, reach out to them. Uh, put uh, Email them at hello at expertunleashed.com. See, I, I almost forgot because I didn't dance it. Hello at expertunleash.com and put in the word win if you want to win a free, this is valued at almost $300 US, a 30 minute consultation with them. Uh, it's worth far more than that, I'm sure, because it's just going to be the entry point into the rest of your successful life, in my humble opinion. So reach out to Jay and Naomi. You can tell, look at them. I mean, come on. They're cute as a button, as they would say. Both of them. I can say that because I'm an old man and say they're, they're cute. <laughs> Uh, and, and you guys are a joy. I mean, talking to you before the show, you're, they're, they're the same now as they were then. This is authenticity. And I love these guys for what they're doing for all entrepreneurs at the worst, hardest, most critical stage in their business. That's where so many people decide this is not for me because it's so daggone hard. Well, when you have the help of these two amazing individuals to get you past that hardest hump, wow. What an amazing gift they are giving you. Even though they charge and charging you money, that is a huge gift to get you past all of that struggle and strife. I've been there. They've been there. That's why they're doing this. So thank you again, Jay and Naomi. Do either or both of you have a parting word for our audience? Uh, maybe a last piece of advice for those budding entrepreneurs just starting out? Um, yeah, if you email us at hello at X. <laughs> Uh, no, do you want? Do you want to say anything? Well, yeah. Do, do you know what? it kind of ties into the question you asked at the end, and also it's a quote up here which we live by. Don't over here. So if you're persistent, you'll get it, and if you're consistent, you'll keep it. And I, I, I say this to all of my coaching clients, or all, all of my other clients that aren't on coaching with me. Persistency, like it's not easy. Just keep. You, if you're struggling now it's because you're moving in, out of your comfort zone into something bigger. It's supposed to get harder. And then the hard things get easier, but then you're facing harder things. So then you're in a constant state 
of difficulty, but that just means you're growing. So stay persistent, keep at it. And once you get it, stay consistent. Don't stop once you find one bit of success because that's when your results slip back and you think, oh, why is it not working anymore? So yeah, yeah. be persistent and then be consistent. Yeah, I love that. And also we've got another quote up there. Up there? there oh, up there? Where did that come from? <laughs> up there that says, uh, do not go where the path may lead. Instead, go where there is no path and leave a trail. And this quote was said by Les Brown on his book, The Greatness Within, and it stuck with me. And I just, I loved it. I just thought that is the epitome of entrepreneurship to me. And I just think, you know, everyone's trying to, everyone's trying to do things in their own, in their own life. And you've just got, you've got to carve that path. You know, you have to create something for yourself. Don't follow everybody else because again, that's what we stand for. You've got to build your brand, be you. And you've got to find what make, what works for you so that you can create your own path and create your own sales. Um, and also surround yourself with the right people. It's massively important. If you if you are, um, you know, if you're surrounding yourself with people that are trying to bring you down, it's time to just cut them loose. And you, it's sometimes really hard because those people are really close. Um, sometimes it's family. And mm. um you know, you've just got to find those people that will support you no matter what. And obviously it helps if you've got a mentor massively. I feel yeah. like you've got, I feel like you've got the quote there, Brian, or something as well, or the book. <laughs> yeah. You, you talking about that Les Brown? You gotta be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> he was on my show. Oh really? amazing. Wow. I interviewed him. He was like the pinnacle uh, oh. uh moment of this show. I've been going for almost three years now. And when, when he came on the show, I got his buttery voice. I just love it. And oh, he's yeah. always saying, you have greatness in you. Oh, you know? yeah. And then like spot on. you've got to be hungry. And then <laughs> his, his laugh. Oh, I love that. You know, he's got this bo booming, beautiful, buttery, deep voice. And then when he laughs, it's like, I can't do it. It's really high pitched and it, it's interesting, uh, but it's infectious and it's, it's authentic. And so is he. He's literally doing lives almost every day on Facebook to this day. And he's 75 years old now and still going strong. I met him in person about 10 years ago before, long before this show, of course. And uh, he was a amazing, uh, just sweetheart even then. Yeah. And that voice, man, I could just, I could listen to that all day long. Just, oh man. <laughs> yeah. You have greatness in you. So I like that. Uh, I'll share with him that we have a quote hanging on a wall by him from two wonderful young peeps in the uk and he's just gonna get all smiley <laughs> <laughs> all right well you two have been wonderful thank you for the great advice great tips great value great interview lots of fun the dancing the zed everything i loved it all the vodka oh what i mean where else come on come on <laughs> where else can you have all of that in one place <laughs> We sound, we sound like Russian spies, like <laughs> drinking vodka, dancing. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yes. We can, we can write a book, you know, the Russian spy approach to successful entrepreneurship. <laughs> Russian spy branding, I love it. Let's do there that. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. On behalf of these amazing, amazing, this young duo, Jay Staniforth and Naomi Hyatt of expert unleashed i am brian kelly your host of the mind body business show and we will be back again with another great phenomenal guest i don't know if they'll beat these two but we'll be back until then oh man i can't wait we'll see you then so long and god bless take care everybody thank you for tuning in to the mind body business show podcast at www.themindbodybusinessshow.com. My name is Brian Kelly.